response to an article I've read kind of recently about, uh, unfortunately, a couple's privacy was invaded through their uh, webcam. Got hacked a little bit. Um, and most likely this happened through the use of one of the apps installed on their system. I wanted to talk about your camera settings because really we should be in control of these things. We shouldn't just take technology and all of those terms and conditions agreements for granted and just keep hitting agree because we might be agreeing to things like access to our camera. So um, related to camera settings, here's what I want to point out. In Windows 10, if you click start, then choose settings, and you go into this privacy lock here, it says location and camera, and then you're going to click camera. Now, under camera, you can say let apps use my camera, and currently this is on. So if you use things like Skype, FaceTime, all that type of stuff, and you like to use the camera built into your computer, then this is going to need to be on. However, you can individually choose what apps have access to your camera. So you can actually turn these on and off, so I could say, sure, I'm going to let Skype use it, and I'm going to let uh, my Twitter account use it. But things like, let's say Microsoft Edge, not too impressed so far, got to say, um, I want to turn that off, okay? Um, so we can individually turn access to our camera on and off for individual apps. We can actually just turn our camera off entirely as well. One thing to note about most cameras on most systems is they are wired uh, in series directly through a little light. So if you see your light on, typically that means power and access to your camera is on. So if you're sitting there and the light's on, I don't expect to be using my or lights on and I didn't think that my camera should be in use, well that's gonna tip you off kind of, you know, initially that something is up. Anyhow, that's how you can access uh, different settings related to your camera in Windows 10. Make sure you take a look at that. Be sure to always flip through those terms and conditions if you can, if you have the time, you're not too sure about the app you're downloading, make sure you check it out. That way we can be safe and keep our privacy to ourselves.